how to resolve exponential equations. In this video, we'll do four examples. And you can see that the first two examples, they are not so bad because we only have one exponential part. But then the other two examples, we'll see that we have two exponential parts and they have different bases. So we'll see how to deal with that. By the way, let's take up these two first. For this one, we are going to isolate this exponential part first. This is seven times that. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by seven. So this way, this and that can cancel and we'll just get 3 to the x power being equal to this over that is 50. Now, you see that x is in the exponent. To get rid of the base 3, we will have to use logarithm. And we will have to choose a special base, right? And that base is just the same as that. So log base 3. Yeah, so go ahead and just do log base 3 on both sides. This way, this and that will cancel. And we'll just get x on the left hand side. And this will be equal to that. And we'll just leave the answer like this log base 3 of 50. This is not a nice number, so just leave it like that. Or if the question is asking you for approximation, then you can use the change of base formula, which is just log, and this is base 10 on your calculator. And then we have the 50 here, divided by log of 3. So one word the other. All right, so that will be it. Now for the second one, well, similar strategy, right? Divide both sides by 6, cancel this out, and then we get e to the 0.4x being equal to 20. Now, to get rid of the e, we do log base e, but that's a special logarithm, namely the natural logarithm, which is just ln. So let's go ahead and do that, and then the same on the right-hand side. Ln and e will cancel. We will just have 0.4x being equal to ln 20. And of course, let's just go ahead and divide both sides by 0.4. And that's pretty much it. However, usually we do not want to have a decimal instead of a fraction. So remember, 0.4 is the same as saying 4 over 10, which is the same as 2 over 5. So I'm just going to look at this as x equals ln 20 over 2 over 5. And we can just multiply the 5 here and also the 5 here so that we can just get this. So finally, x is equal to 5 times ln 20 over 2. And with that, we are done for that. Now, for these two exponential equations, notice that they have different bases. So, which log do we take? For example, do we just take log base 2 right here? We can cancel this and that. That's good. How about this right here, though? Not really, right? It's actually possible if you take log of 2 or log of 3, up to you. But we are going to do it like how the textbook does it. So, the way is that we'll just take log with base 10. So, this is the common logarithm, like the logarithm on your calculator. Because this way, eh, it's slightly, like I would say, fair because we're not canceling out any side in particular, right? And the beauty of this is that we can bring the power to the front, like so. So on the left hand side, we get x times log of 2. And then this is going to be, you see, x plus 1 is the power, so be sure you put that in your parentheses. We have x plus 1 times log of 3. Good. And then right here, we are still going to find out, uh, put all the x on one side and then isolate the x. So right here, let's just go ahead and distribute this and that. So we get x times log of 2, and that's equal to this times that, which is x log of 3, and this times that is just log of 3. Keep in mind, log of 3 is just a number, likewise log of 2. And uh, here, we're just going to minus this on both sides. So let me just show you guys minus x log of 3. That way this and that cancel. And then do the same thing right here. Minus x log of 3. Here's the deal. You see this and that, they both have the x. So you can factor that out. So let's go ahead and do that right here. And then we will have log of 2 minus log of 3. OK. And then on the right hand side, we have log of 3. Good. And you see, this is x times that, so in the end, we just have to divide this on both sides and we'll be able to solve for x. So ladies and gentlemen, x will be equal to log of 3 on the top over that, which is 
log of 2 minus log of 3. And you can simplify this a little bit more. This is the same as log of 2 over 3, but you don't really have to do that. This is totally okay if you just leave the answer like this. So, that's it for that. Now, take a look at this one. Okay, same idea, right? So let me just deal with this. And you might be able to write the full as a 2 to some power, but you know, doesn't really matter that much. I'm just going to write it as, now do the log on both sides. And then again, bring the powers to the front, bring the power to the front. So here we have 2x plus 1 times log of 4. And that will be equal to this, which is parentheses x minus 5 times log of 3. Okay, and then right here, let's go ahead and distribute, distribute. So we get 2x times log of 4 and then plus log of 4. Okay, and then this is going to be equal to, on the right hand side, we also distribute. So do this here, here. So we have x times log of 3. It's just a lot of writing, you know, because of the LOG. That's all. Yeah, but anyway, this times that is just minus 5 log of 3. Okay, now move this to the other side because you want to collect all the x's on one side. So that's minus x log of 3. And let's also go ahead and do that right here. Okay, so that way this and that can cancel. And I'm going to minus log of 4 on both sides. So right here, let's go ahead and minus log of 4 right here as well. Here, this and that can cancel. And as you can see, similar scenario like what we did earlier, we have the x here and also the x here. So we can factor that out and we will get x. And then the leftover will be 2 times that. So 2 log of 4 and then minus just log of 3 here. And on the right hand side, we have all that which is minus and minus, right? So let me just put them together. Minus 5 log of 3 and then minus log of 4, right? And in the end, we can just divide this on both sides. So ladies and gentlemen, x will be equal to all that, which is negative 5 log of 3 and then minus log of 4 and then all over this, which is 2 log of 4 and then minus log of 3. So this is totally okay, right? This is totally okay. And then if you want to get an approximation, you can just enter this on your calculator and all that stuff. And if you would like, I'm just going to leave this to you guys. You see that we have log of 4, log of 4. Log of 4 is the same as saying log of 2 to the second power. And then you can bring the 2 to the front, and then you can look at that as 2 log of 2. So you can actually replace this with that, and then just get another form of the answer. But this is okay, or if you would like, you can also bring that to the top, but you know, this is okay. 